Hey everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude and I'm here to review The Book of Life. The Book of Life is written and directed by Jorge R. Gutierrez. This is his writing and directorial debut. He is actually the creator for the Nickelodeon animated series El Tigre, The Adventures of Manny Rivetta. And man, did I just love that show growing up. Good times, good times. It is produced by Guillermo del Toro. It has the voice talents of Diego Luna, Channing Tatum, Zoe Saldana, Ron Perlman, Ice Cube, many talents in this film. And the storyline follows Manolo, who is voiced by Diego Luna. He has the difficulty of trying to fulfill his family's expectations, but at the same time he wants to follow his heart. And then he falls for a lovely girl named Maria, voiced by Zoe Saldana. M and Joaquin, voiced by Channing Tatum. They fight for Maria love. It is the story of the Day of the Dead aka Dia de los Muertos. This was a very fun, very satisfying, and very well-made movie. The animation is so vivid, so colorful, so inventive. It just looked really impressive. Diego Luna does a really great job voicing Manolo. You have Zoe Saldana who voiced Maria. She did a really good job providing that voice. And then you have Ron Perlman, who plays the main antagonist of the movie. I thought he did a very good job, with, and he's probably one of the most enjoyable animated villains I've seen in the movie in a while, to be honest. I thought the storyline was very well written. It did a really good job telling the story in Dia de los Muertos. I love the story between Manolo and Maria. I thought the two of them together, they were very cute. They had this nice little sweet chemistry back and forth. You know, I thought the love story between them was handled very well, and I just really dug that. And Ice Cube, he really does not appear until the final 20 minutes of the movie, but that final 20 minutes where Ice Cube does show up, he did a really good job voicing his character as the candle lighter, and he was just really enjoyable. You really can tell it's from the creator of El Tigre, just because the animation style looks similar to El Tigre when you think about it, just in three-dimensional form. Now, my only problems with this film, to be honest, is that there were some moments where the film just got a little too quick, like the pacing was really quick and the movie wouldn't slow down. It's just all like, okay, kind of slow down, just calm down a little bit. And in some moments, it just got very distracting how it would just rush through. Some of the humor in this movie does work, but I gotta be honest, for the most part, I really didn't think the humor in this movie really worked. It falls flat on the humor a lot of the times. It does make me laugh here and there, but overall, the comedy aspect really isn't quite as engaging as like the storyline, the characters, and the animation are. There are some moments where it does get predictable. You know how it's gonna go, especially near the end. But overall though, I actually thought The Book of Life was a very well done animated movie. I think it's a nice animated movie to show to your kids, especially around Dia de los Muertos, which is on November 2nd. So overall, I'm going to give this movie 3 out of 4 stars. It was just a very nice animated movie with wonderful characters, a really well done storyline, and such beautiful animation. And for this being a directorial and writing debut from Jorge R. Gutierrez, his first feature length film, he really did a good job. He really excelled in his first feature film, in my opinion. So comment down below. Let me know what did you think of The Book of Life. This is 22 Tiger Dude, and don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power.